What's going on dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to Aldermod 7 with your buddy here, Super Turtle. Guys, today we have some fun things we are going to be doing. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing a bunch of stuff with the Garden Cloches today because all in all, they're just better than bees. I'm sorry. Like the bees, we do get all the modium stuff, but Mystical Agriculture paired up with the Garden Cloche, it's just, it's too good. We've experienced this with Redstone. We have over 100,000 Redstone dust and it's like, Ouch. So, yeah, we've had iron running the whole time, and it's at 67,000. That's the entire series, and it's been over a month. And redstone's been made for a couple, like a week maybe, and it's at 100K, so that's where we're going. And I'm going to be doing a cool design that I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, so let's go ahead and give it a go. So I don't know quite how we're going to do it on this like right side over here, but I do know that every five... We're going to have kind of a beam go up. And I don't know exactly. I might do it like a, a three wide like this. Um, this might look good. It might look terrible. We don't know. We haven't tried it yet. And then that'll mean... Is it here that we go up? No, it's here that we go up. Okay. So we'll break this block real quick. Yep, that did that thing about the doohickey and yes we'll bring this pillar up give it to some give it some support and that will mean this looks a little weird we'll be able to get away with that okay why are you falling here we go so what well, that's a i mean technically that would work but we're not gonna do that um yeah, and then let's add, this needs to be from the back. We can add in the top ones too. What the? Who? Who told me I could put those there? Now we need to be here on the, the corners. Perfect. Okay, let's have a look. How does that look? How are we looking? I think that looks pretty good. Um, that's going to look a little weird until we fix it. So let's do that. This is great. I just love how it's raining. Like, it's so nice. And it really pisses me off, you know. Oop. But I'm liking that. I think that looks good. Okay, so then continuing our pattern back here. Um... It would be one, two, three, four, five, and then another jet out, and then one, two, three, four. So we're going to have to move this out. I, I plan on connecting these together, but definitely not this way. Um, thank you. And we got to extend it out one more, and that's so that these guys can fit. Whoa, I am placing blocks in weird spots. Bye. That deep slate's gone forever. Okay, so I'm thinking three of these on each side. Or like, um, so three of these sections wide. Like so. And I brought that up too high. Whoopsies. Okay, so it like this i do want to have like kind of like an arch it's going to be like a hallway and then it's going to go into an opening and i believe this will probably go down again because i do like having separation of levels i feel i feel like it separates two different um spaces without like putting a direct wall there which is what i'm a big fan of so that's why if you notice i do a lot of different elevations uh that's just so it it separates the um the areas without a distinct wall like blocking it so the building trick I picked up. I don't know if it's really a trick or a treat. You have to ask someone who's smarter at building than me. Okay, so that's actually looking fan freaking fantastic. Do I have any pipes on me? I do not. We need some pipes. We definitely need some pipes. And I also need to go ahead and make some more of the terminals so I don't have to go just to this side for them, which is good. What am I looking for? Pipes. That's right. 
pipes. The pipes. Here we go. Look at that. We can make so many pipes now because we have all of that stuff automated. And I know pipes have been a little bit buggy in a couple of the versions. But I want you guys to know that uh, they're still a little buggy. Um, and are they better? Mm, debatable. Debatable. But at least we can do this. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that like a snack? Is that right? Yes, that's right. Perfect. Lots of building today. I hope you guys enjoy building because this should look pretty good. I'm pretty excited. I've been thinking about the thumbnail for this video for probably two days. And then I just had another idea when it comes to building. You guys ever just build and you get like ideas while you're building to make it better? And then you're like, oh my gosh, now I have to build more. And you're just, oh, that's so annoying. Why can't I just build it right the first time? Why can't I just build it? I don't know. I'm rambling. Do you want some? I have an all the. I have an unobtainium sword, you dingus. You dinguses. You ding. Is it dinguses or dingai? Dingai, I think. So that's how we look in. Um, now, the idea I was telling you guys about just a few moments ago, um, that was something along the lines of making this into a wall. Um, but I actually think we're going to try to use some sky stone for that. Um, can we just do this? Yes, we can. Perfect. Okay, can we turn this into a wall? We can. Perfect. Okay, so this will give us a little bit more um, detail within each of these little beams, and I think we'll go here. Yeah, all the way. And then we're going to go straight down and so this is a little bit of a different color yeah that definitely breaks that up a bit i'm a big fan spider-man okay what do you guys think you liking that i, I, I kind of like it i think it looks pretty neat uh and then we're gonna come here uh you're definitely gonna be able to see the the pipes unfortunately from the level like the ground level, um, but this will just help not it be so obvious, if that makes sense. But cool, very cool. We are building things. And with these guys in, we should be good. And I'm going to break that. I would just run it across the bottom, but I already have this set up, which is good. Might need to upgrade that power puller because I believe, yeah, it's just really slow. I think we'll be okay, but we could we could speed it up. I think we're gonna speed it up. How much power it can pull out of there? It might not actually be able to pull any more, but we're about to find out. And I'm not gonna use another right one on that just yet, even though I could probably afford it. Now that I think about it. Um. Yeah, none of these have any power. Actually, I will wrap it around. And so it's very important you don't pull. I found that there's a little bit of a, a bug between RF tools power and the pipes connections. You can really only pull power out of one side before it gets buggy. Uh, and I think that's what people have been experiencing. So I'm going to do it like this because we do need to run pipes back here. But now these guys should be getting power. Yeah, look at that. Already full of power. Great. Off of one source. Amazing. This is good. This is great. Okay, now we need some more pipes for water and for items. And I'll do one side with you guys and then one side off camera. That way it's not too repetitive. Okay, so a full stack should be plenty. And again, we're just going to run off of one. I wish I would have done that a little bit different, but that's okay. Okay. Okay, we will have to configure all of those to pull out. Um, so we're going to need these guys. Uh, 
Okay, now, um, it's just funny because just like placing these things randomly feels like it's working. Okay, so those are all semi-connected. Let's do the water now. Because these things need some hydration. Hey, that reminds me. People watching my video, hydrate. Be smart. Give your bodies the fuel they need. Actually, what we can do is uh, do one of these. Come on up here. Yes. Now we can place them with the big boys. Look at that. That's pretty neat. What do you think of that cool placement little hack I did? Kind of cool. I am almost out of fuel or pipes. We did it. We actually don't need these two. Don't need that one either. Bam. Savings. Come back here. Okay, so power is connected, water is connected. All we need to do now is configure the items to be pulled out, as you can see. Oh, we need an upgrade for water, definitely. Upgrades, people, upgrades. That's exactly what we need. Let's do pipes. And because the, um, we don't really need to worry about upgrades for the items because they like grow every couple of moments and they don't grow a whole lot. So we only need to worry about supplying them with things. It's like the water here, definitely gonna need this. Yeah, now we're definitely living like Larry. Good, full of water. Okay, so now all we gotta do is just put um, soil in and we'll be good. And what if we just did this for these sections? How does this look? Does it look stupid? Does it look good? Does it, uh, it looks okay. I wish it was a different block. Um, yeah, it's gonna have to be that. Maybe, nope, can't change that because then we have to go into this and then now oh, it's connected. It'll just have to be that. Or we could put something on in front of it to make it look interesting. Okay, but one side has been set up correctly which is good i like it it looks pretty good what we can also do um is we can seal actually i want to grab my tool bag okay i'm going to configure all of these to pull out uh like that and then we'll be right back that's gonna take a bit okay so all of these have now been configured to pull items out of the garden cloches um so that's good what i want to go ahead and do back here is put these in uh, whoops, so that it looks a little bit nicer from the side. Uh, and then we'll kind of have to make it a bit bulky back here too to do that. So like that one's easy, but then we're gonna have to kind of do, well actually, we can just do that. Do one of these, but we have to kind of seal them in, which is a little crazy. And it's gonna get a little, a little wide. So I'll be doing this. This is fun. That you you love to see it, you know, because I mean, look at the difference that makes already. It just uh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe maybe that didn't look that much better. I don't know. I don't know. I'll keep trying. Okay, so I've got the the calcite bricks in, and I'll be honest, I don't actually think it looks very good. Um, so what I am going to do is we're going to get a bunch of black dye and uh, hopefully I don't regret that. Should be fine. Yeah, I got to be careful with that. Uh, I'm going to mine this one here. I'm going to vein mine it. Uh, but I'm just going to go in the back with a solid black background and that should really uh, make it look better. We'll still be able to see the like pipes and stuff in the back, uh, but it shouldn't look as bad. So... Yep, time to just to uh, collect all of the stuff I just placed. I do not like it. That was easy. That was a lot easier to place than there. But yeah, if I just go up, maybe, maybe. So what is the furthest one? Because like having it like jet out like that is what looks so bad. 
Like maybe we just do that and we just go straight up with it. Okay, I'm gonna do that. We're gonna see if that's any better. Okay, so this is what we're looking at, and I actually think it looks a lot better um, than having like the it try to be perfectly, you know, no space there. I think it looks so much better. I do think I need to make some adjustments though on this side here. Maybe have the items, the item pipes or something like that go down there, and then on this side as well, uh, fixing this here. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. I wish pipes had a way to put like a, a block face on it. Um, they didn't do anything like that when I wasn't paying attention, did they? Mm, universal pipe. Huh, that might be the thing to have. What does that do, though? Um, filter destination tool. Okay, that is something I didn't know I had. Let's try the universal pipe and see what happens. See what happens. So I need a few of them. That work. I gotta add a fluid pipes. So there's that. I wonder if it does like all three. Cause that would be handy. Yeah. Hmm. That doesn't connect right up. Hmm. Okay, so this is how we're looking. I'm definitely liking it. Um, we might come back, might try the universal pipes on this side over here, see what goes on. But yeah, and, um, this area is a done ski, which is a great ski. Uh, and I think I might do one of these here. And that will kind of just finish it off. Um, and I might do that over here as well. Yeah, but it does make this feel a little bit tighter. And I might have to rework this entrance here because it's kind of kind of small. I think, yeah, one, two. It's a two block wide gap. Yeah, that's going to be interesting, but we don't have the other side in to really feel how it's going to feel, so we can't really make any judgments now. Uh, but now the tedious process of putting a soil into all of these and moving our seeds up here. Uh, the other thing, too, is we're going to need... Let's see. So we're going to have, like, each of these little sections will be their own one item. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six different recipes. Okay, so the crafters that we're going to use, see, this allows us to have eight recipes, so I think this is what we're going to want. Um, so we're going to need a few of these guys, which is okay. The tier one crafters, I'm going to make a full stack of torches. Bam, and we're going to use them all. We're out of crafting tables. That's fun. Good thing we have a bit of wood. There we go. That is fine. 15 of those and fifth, uh, six of these. Okay, cool. So that will give us enough. Um, hmm. I've shielded myself in. Out. Okay, so all of the items come into this, this chest here. So what I want to do... Is a good uh, put one one single block, one single pipe. Just kidding. I want more pipe. One more pipe. That's it. Just one more. I have no idea how many droppers I've actually made. They just I keep hitting shift click and they just keep going out, which is good. So back in here, um, yes. And then we'll go straight down with it, and then now. Now we can worry about the crafting. So let's actually put the crafter. Oh, not there. Not there. Right here. All right, that's good. Um, so the items will be put right into it. Good. What can we do with the seeds? Okay. 
Can we use them to craft anything? Oh, we got really done with just the seeds. Dang it. How do you get those out? I've got the idea, and it's called a buffer chest. So, my idea is that we place the chest here, so all of these items will get put in. And so, we'll also do this right here, and going from the top, and going from the bottom. Going from here into the crafter. Crafter's gonna get power. And then we're gonna take out of the crafter and go here. And we're gonna break we're gonna break these legs. Like so. And so with this, with this here, we can filter um, what we take out, like what what is uh, pulled out. So like I only know of a couple things we'll need to pull out. So I think we only need like a diamond upgrade, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, just one of these diamond diamond tier upgrades. And come here. Uh, I believe we'll have to do this. And then we should have grabbed some of those before. I have made it difficult for me to get back in here. <laughs> Maybe I should make one of those wireless wireless crafting terminals. And then now this whole thing becomes useless because I really like the look of having an AE2 system built into a wall. So I might not do that. Um, let us see here. Okay, the industrial hemp seeds are what we want to take out from the bottom so we're gonna whitelist add click you submit and so what we should see is in this in diamond chest when these things do grow we should see only the uh, the hemp fibers in here the hemp seeds should be gone Perfect, and the industrial hemp fiber is what is left in here. And so because we have that set to a slower speed, it should be okay, and hopefully it doesn't grab the item before the fast one can grab it, the uh, the diamond upgrade. Okay, so it should be chilling in here. And so now we click here for recipe, we hit use. All right, and now if we do this, we have string going right into our system. Beautiful. Okay, so that is how we fixed it. Just a simple buffer chest that's filtered to pull out the other items. So the hemp um, the hemp seeds. And the cool thing is we have the hemp seeds going over here to a spot where they'll get destroyed. And so we need to set up a system to get all these guys out and put into there. I might make an export bus real quick. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make some Insanium farmland. Um, and I don't know if that makes it any any better for our seeds, but I'm going to go grab the redstone seeds. We're only going to use five. We have a plenty of redstone right now, so we don't have to really worry about it too much. But just going to grab five of them, and we'll call it done with the redstone after that. So redstone seed to... Three, four, five. Okay. So there we go. Now head on back up to the base. This is getting big. Okay, so I'm going to do the redstone seeds kind of right here in the front. So we're going to do one there. Now, I do know that if you have the Insanium Essence, um, like, in the, the world out here, like, you get more production. I don't know if that's the case when it comes to redstone, redstone seeds. So, we might just have to wait here and see if we get more than two, get more than two, because that's all we were getting from the Tier 5 Essence. Okay, I'm not sure 
how much essence that was. Let me see. Okay, so it was still only two, but I'm going to leave that in there just in case it is affecting it in a positive way. But now we have redstone being put over here, so we need to go ahead and throw the recipe into this guy here. So we click here, hit uses. We get 12 per one of those. So if we do that, boom, maybe. Yep, there we go. And it's getting transported. And now we can go ahead and put a speed upgrade on this guy, which I will go ahead and do now. Okay, so I've put the speed upgrade in here, the pipe upgrade. And yeah, this section here for redstone is completely done. We now have redstone automation inside our base at the, the spot I want it. Um, the only thing to do now is to patch up that bottom. Um, so when you're looking there, I don't want you to be able to see down into the... Okay, so that's been added. You can't really tell. I like it a whole lot. You can't see it. Looks good. It looks really good. I am a huge fan. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy this on the other side, and then I'll be right back and work on the little ceiling here. Okay, so the universal cable is definitely the way to go. Ready? Check this out. Uh, it is so much cleaner than the other side like look at this it is fantastic oh i've been i've been putting these up just because they look good and i just do that like it, it i 100 percent do not need this like i can get rid of both of these uh, and i just need these ones but i like how it's like tied in together um and i uh, i've been thinking about doing one here attaching it like i just it looks good it it looks good like ah, like look at that. It just it makes sense. All of it's connected up. We have our system down here. We'll be able to to have the the pillars going up behind it. It's just all in all, it's better. So I'm gonna have to go and convert all of those as well to it, um, and then fix fix our little system over there because the like, always the second time you do it, it's always way better. And that's what we have here. So it's just way better the second time around. Um, but what I want to go ahead and do is with you guys because I have the. The builder's wand, I'll be able to do this real quick. Um, but we can put up the 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 cool little, what do we call them? Um, these guys. Actually, can we, can we put these here? <gasps> we can. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be lit. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm placing these diagonally, obviously. Uh, but this will allow me to just place these really quickly. I don't want to do that. Yeah, we, we figured out that doesn't look good when we do that. Um, but yeah, ready. Take the builder's wand and we just go up. And it just places those for us. So now when we look in, that looks good. That looks good. And then up here, what I do? Yeah, we just we just build it back. Okay. So not only is it better on materials, but it looks good. And I, I don't think we should like we 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 I, bleh, I don't believe we'll need to go much further than this when it comes to um, like the blocks that we need to place. We'll probably need to put one there, but ooh, and then one below. Okay, how are we looking? Oh man, that looks good. Um, and we're still missing a couple detail. Well, really, just this in the front. Which does break up, make that look a little bit better in my opinion. But it doesn't look bad without it, which is good. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at that. This is definitely more colorful. Uh, but this looks more finished. And then down here, this can just be the entrance into the next part of our base. So this will be a little hallway. Very cool. Okay, now we can go ahead. I'm going to do that off camera, but we're going to take these over. Mm 
and I don't exactly know how I'm going to do it. Uh, let's see. It's the one on top here. I believe that was removed. And then we can just do one of those. Hmm. How do we make that look good? Okay, so this is what we have going on. And I don't know if I like it. What I do think I need to do is make ooh, a little bit of, ooh, a little bit of lag. I do think I need to make some stairs real quick. Um, here, let's sleep and get that night away. Okay, so this architect's cutter will allow us to put items here and make them into stairs and other items. Like we make them into a door, which would be interesting. A door. Knock, knock. Who's there? Of the door. But uh, yeah, let's put some stairs around over here and see if that helps out at all. Because I don't really like it, if I'm being honest. Okay. Okay, so this is what we got going on in here. And I definitely like this a bit more. It gives us a little bit more of a dome feel going. Uh, and then we have these little beams kind of going across. Uh, I do need to put the... Uh, uh, fences in here uh, the brick walls sorry uh, maybe we switch that up with a lighter block I don't know it could look good like now it's just really subtle right now and I think it could look a lot uh, less subtle um, and then maybe we put one here kind of something like that the stairs over here are a little wonky now uh, probably just need to go ahead and remove those and put some normal ones in like so. And that is the entrance over here. I do like that a bit better than what we had before. It does feel a bit more grand. Uh, but we might, I think we need to mix this up, make this look a little bit better. But that's something I'll work on off camera. But yeah, this thing is 100% set up. All I have to do is just put the, the whatever I want over here. Uh, and then they go down below and they start the auto craft, like get auto crafted. So yeah, like we have successfully set up what we were going to do today. How often do we do that? Uh, not very often, I feel like. <laughs> but today is a good day. Remember that. Remember that all of you amazing people out there. Today is a good day. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.